yes, you can learn Spanish from Bad Bunny. You just need the right teacher. Also, you need to know what these songs are saying, because if you're listening in the United States where there are roughly 50 million Spanish speakers, they're going to be understanding the lyrics, even if you can't. And as you may be aware, rap and hip hop tend to contain some explicit themes. So I'm going to talk to you about the songs you might want to avoid playing while you're next to a Hispanic family who's got little kids running around. Today, I'm gonna to take you through the first five tracks. I'm gonna be translating parts of the verses. I'm gonna make sure you understand his punchlines and I'm gonna teach you some Spanish. Hello and welcome to Learn Spanish a lo Boricua podcast. I am bringing you this special mini series, five episodes dedicated to Bad Bunny's new album, Nadie Sabe Lo Que Va a Pasar Mañana. This started with two TikTok videos where I began to break down some of the lines, some of the lyrics. I got a request to go into a deep dive and that's what we'll be doing today. Let's get into it, starting with track one, Nadia Sabe. Hey, dicen que el mundo va a acabar sola, que sea pronto. They say that the world is going to end. Hopefully, it's soon. A veces picheo. Pichar is a Puerto Rican slang that basically been translated to kind of like ignore it, forget about it, whatever. I would translate this line into English most naturally as sometimes I just ignore it. I ignore things. And I play dumb. We're going to look at that line in just a minute. Who the said that I want to be an example? All of the good that I do, I do it because I feel it. E wow, I'm headed towards 30. Rolex and AP, I don't know what for. If time passes and I don't even realize. Making money while well, you comment. This track is the start of Bad Bunny's desahogo. Desahogo coming from the verb desahogar. And I love, I think there's no better way to explain it than how Nia Ita has done so in this post. Desahogar is one of my favorite Spanish words. It translates to, to vent, but if you break down the literal translation, it means to undrown. Ahogar means to drown. So desahogar, you're undrowning, as if letting go of the burdens and the secrets you're holding on to will be the thing that saves you from drowning. What a beautiful image. This album is a desahogo. Obviously, if you follow Bad Bunny, you know he's gotten a lot of hate uh, recently. He was on the top, and then when you're on the top, of course, people try to bring you down. He's with Kendall, and people got all sorts of things to say about that. They're calling him Ben. And his perspective on all that is if they hate and let them hate and watch the money pile up. Basically, essentially, I'm making money while you guys make your TikTok videos about Ben and Kendall. But no one knows. No one knows what's felt, right? What it feels like to feel alone with 100,000 people in front of you, that everybody's talking about you without knowing a hmm, without knowing you. And they even wish death upon you. But me, no. I wish them good luck. People have to stop being so stupid and thinking that they know the life of famous people. Bad Bunny, I am with you. I have been saying that we need to bring back the E! True Hollywood story. You think you know, but you have no idea. Let's break down some of these lines. I told y'all we would come back to the line, me hago el tonto, as I play dumb. The first time I ever learned about this phrase, it was before I even had moved to Puerto Rico, and a friend of mine said that ella se hace la loca. Se hace la loca, and that translates to she plays dumb. So this is actually the first time I've heard them use the word dumb for that. I knew it as se hace la loca, se hace el loco, to say that somebody plays dumb. Here, Babo's using it as me hago el tonto. Makes more sense to my English brain, right? I make myself the stupid one. Basically, I play dumb. Let's talk about some of Bad Bunny's punchlines in this album. Good Lord. Vendí el Bugatti porque lo sentía lento. Y porque lo mío no cabe en un asiento. Vendí el Bugatti. I sold the Bugatti because it felt slow to me because I felt like it was slow and because my people, los míos, don't fit in one seat. Y es verdad, no soy trapero ni reggaetonero. Yo soy la estrella más grande en el mundo. Biache. And it's true. I'm not a trap artist. I'm not even a reggaeton artist. I am the biggest star in the world. Humble. Aprovecho el tiempo haciendo historia. Ustedes haciendo story time. 
I take advantage. I use my time to make history and y'all make story times. This line hits harder in Spanish because the word for history and story is the same, historia. So historia, he's doing a play on words here, right? Because it both means a story and it means history in Spanish. And I take advantage of my time to make history and y'all make story times. Okay. <laughs> He said, Bad Bunny salió, pongan su disco en cuarentena. Bad Bunny came out, right? Talking about this new album came out. Put your albums in quarantine. And finally, tú no eres mi fan real, por eso te tiré el celular. If you guys didn't know, there was an incident a while back that this girl ran up and shoved her phone in Bad Bunny's face and she took he took that and pra threw it into the water right over here to the left. So those are some of the references that he drops in Nadia Sabe. On to Monaco. <laughs> Tell me, is this what you wanted? Yo soy fino, I'm fine, high class, I'm bougie. <laughs> this is trapped from the gallery. Tú eres un charro. Charro in Puerto Rico is like saying lame. You're a D-bag. Okay. Rocky the Kid. Bad Bunny is tirándole, as he would say. Throwing shade at a radio host. He's also the co-host of the show La Comay, which is a gossip show here in Puerto Rico with cancel culture. I'm not sure how that show still exists. It is quite offensive. But that's all I'm going to say about that. You need a Puerto Rican to give you more context about La Comay. I have my thoughts about it, but I'm not from here. I don't have that deep knowledge of all the culture, cultural significance. So talk to somebody else about La Comay. He was a co-host on that show. He, he also has a radio show. You will definitely see Puerto Ricans reacting strongly to this line because it's like throwing Jimmy Fallon or somebody on the bus. I'd say Jimmy Fallon because it's a well-known person, but Jimmy Fallon, el no cae mal. He's, he doesn't uh, offend people typically. He's not a controversial figure. It's a well-known, controversial figure, I would say, in PR. Certainly has his fans, certainly has his haters. Rocky the Kid, he took a jab at him right there. There's quite a bit in this song that I can't talk about, but this next verse, let me translate for you. Believe me, F1 cars are faster in person. Sofia Vergara is beautiful, pretty, but she's prettier in person. <laughs> what you do does not impress me. It's like scoring a goal after Messi or Maradona. They don't even know you in your own neighborhood. Yesterday, I was with LeBron and also with DiCaprio. They asked how it went for me in the stadiums, how it went in the stadiums, referring to his sold out stadium concerts. We talked about the family and millionaire topics, millionaire shit. I mean, multimillionaire. I mean, <laughs> billionaire shit couple other lines in particular I want to pull out of the song. That's why you're 101 in the top 100 and I'm the first. I'm number one. They're not even rappers anymore. Now they're just podcasters. This line, my barber is making more than you. And next we have Fina. Uh, not much I can say about this song. This is one that I don't recommend you put on when there are children around who understand Spanish. And unfortunately for Hiviki, uh, same, same advice. Don't put this on when there are Spanish speaking children around. Uh, it is about explicit things that consenting adults do. But there is one thing that I would like to talk about that comes up a couple times in this song. It's the use of ando. Y ando por ahí bebiendo la ciudad. Y ando bien loco. What's up with the verb andar in Spanish? You may have seen it translated as to walk. But let's look at a couple examples of how I would translate these phrases with andar. Ando buscando un amor. Ando buscando un amor is more like I go looking for love. I go. I'm out here looking for love. Okay, so when we see Mora's lines here, ando por ahí bebiendo la ciudad, 
and I'm out here. That's how I would interpret it. Is that a direct translation? No, I'm out here drinking in the city, right? I'm out here crazy, mixing smoke and alcohol. It's rap, y'all. It's rap. What did you think they were singing about? Know that I'm that is more going to have the feel of like being out there doing something. I'm out here. I'm, I go looking for something. And finally, I broke down this lyric in one of the videos I put up on TikTok. Sometimes I'd like to go broke to start to hustle again. Josear, taken as an anglicism. This is Puerto Rican's version of hustle. And become a millionaire again. Watch me move. This is, look at me, look at how I move. But watch me move, papa, is the feel. Bleep, I changed the game. Talk to me about money. Plata means silver, but a lot of times it's used as a slang for money. Talk to me about money, y de una, and right away, I'm there. Me llego. If not, if not, we'll talk later. And repeat, sometimes I'd like to go broke to start to hustle again, to, make, to become a millionaire again. Watch me move. I changed the game. Everything's paid off. I don't know anyone. Walking on the moon, Michael Jackson, Mr. October, Reggie Jackson. Look at my jeans. They're not from PacSun. <laughs> no, that's when I was in La Quiri is uh, the high school that he went to in PR. Ahora son Amiri. Now they're Amiri, his jeans. Your thing is gossip, but I don't see El Guiri Guiri. This was a, I had to look this up. It's a comedian. This would be a Latino reference. Just like in all of rap, y'all. I, I saw a TikTok content creator that I love. He's Puerto Rican, completely bilingual, does a lot of, Videos of him dancing, relaxing, reacting to different things, reacting to different music, etc. Great vibe. Love it. He did a video recently talking about how a lot of other Latinos and gringos were responding. They didn't love this album that much. And he said, you know, a lot of this is for Puerto Rico. Like a lot of the references, the things that you're not getting, this hits so much harder for Puerto Ricans. And I absolutely agree. But I would say that that's the general case in rap, right? If you grew up in Brooklyn, if you grew up in Marcy's Playground, Jay-Z's early shit is going to hit so much harder for you. You're going to get the references. That stuff is real. It represents your life, right? Same thing with Kendrick. I love Kendrick, but there are many references in every one of his songs that I don't get because I grew up in the suburbs in Maryland. This will always be the case in rap, but not even just in rap, right? In country music, if you're from the same place as the singer, that music is going to connect with you so much more. They're going to use references. They're going to use things that reflect the life that you have as well. I hope you enjoyed this first episode, deep dive into the first five songs or as deep as I can go without getting reported and kicked off all the platforms. I'd love to hear from you. So let me know what you think in the comments below and I'll see you next episode.